So for this question here, we're trying to find the, the two triangular prisms with the same cubic, with the same volume. So two volumes are approximate. Now the nice thing is that we are actually given one of the volumes. The volume here is going to be 255. They're giving us the volume already. So the volume formula, if you confirm it, is going to be the area of a triangle, one half base times height times the length gives us the volume and you can confirm it it's actually 255 for choice 2 now one of these match choice 2 visually because the diagram is the scale it's got to be 1 this here if you think about it this being a nice Toblerone chocolate bar which one would you rather eat these ones or this one here clearly this one here would give you more value so right away we know that these two have approximately the same volume. However, if you really want to confirm this, what you could do is you could actually use your protractor to measure this uh, angle theta. And because in order to find out the volume, we already have this length here. We have the height, we need the base, but we can't figure out the base without using some Sokotoa triangles, without using a protractor. So we use a nice protractor and we measure approximately from here, here and we pull up the angle and we get approximately 30 degrees. So I'm just going to say this is 30 degrees or so. So if we say that theta is 30 degrees and we can then use our Sokotoa triangles to solve for this side here. So we're going to say that this theta is 30 degrees, and then we can solve this side here since we're dealing with the opposite and the adjacent. So we have this triangle tan theta, or tan theta is equals opposite over adjacent. Opposite here is 3.5 meters over adjacent, which is the length which we're trying to find. We'll just call this x. This here is x. So let's solve for x. We know what theta is. Theta here is 30. So tan 30 equals 3.5 over x. We can solve for x by cross multiplying. We can say that x times tan 30 is equals to 3.5 and we can say x is equals to 3.5 divided by 1030 dividing both sides by 1030 which is approximately equals to approximately equals to 6.06 .06. now be careful when you're using your calculator make sure we're working with degree mode here 6.06 .06. and now that we have x twice that is going to be so the entire base the base from here twice that since this is an isosceles triangle is going to be approximately 12.12 now this is very rough since we're just estimating from a picture so now we have the the volume formula is equals to one half base times height, the area of a triangle, so we're going to say 3.5 times the 12.12 times the length here, which is 12. So when we multiply this all out on our calculator, we get 254.5, which is approximately 255-ish. And that matches this volume here pretty closely. So choice one and choice two are the two prisms that match you can use the same techniques to verify this one here you, you may have to use your protractor but clearly these two volumes match whereas this one here is larger